Hi everyone, this is Terry. Recently we visited a wildlife park called Safari Wild in Como, Mississippi. One of the cast of characters was this ostrich, not particularly the one you see on the screen, but this resembles that ostrich that we met at the park. So I thought it would be fun to stitch it on a t-shirt. I purchased this design from the internet I did a Google search and I found an Etsy dealer that was selling di digitized designs. Now one of the things that I want to mention, when you buy a design and you need to download it, what happens is oftentimes they'll send you an email with a link or sometimes you can just download it directly from the site after you paid for the design. When I download my designs, I download them from my tablet using Dropbox, and you can see most of these files are zip files. All I have to do is select the file and choose Save As. For this particular design, what I did is I saved it in a folder that where I store all of my embroidery designs. And when I do this, you'll see all of the names of, of the different designers and I'll go into that folder and each of their series of designs I save in here. Now here are the zip files. To unzip a file, right click on it. I'm using 7-zip and I chose how I wanted to extract it. And I extracted it to a folder. So if we go into that folder and we look at the file, what we're going to see is that she provides multiple formats, which is nice. She also provided a JPEG and then the color chart. And isn't he cute? So let's look at this in PE Design 11. In PE Design 11, you're going to go in and import from a file. You'll navigate to the folder where the design is located, just like we did in Windows Explorer. And you'll notice that she provided me with three different sizes. Now the nice thing about this is you can choose whichever size you want. And I typically do this and sew it out at one of the sizes that they provide versus resizing a design too much because you lose the characteristics. So the smallest design is about two and a half by four inches. The middle design is approximately 3.2 inches by 5.15 inch, and the largest design is going to be 4.31 inches by 6.84. I'll use the middle design on a t-shirt for my grandson. So what I'll do is I'll print out the template, and I can do that by going to print, print preview, you can set up your choices for your printing and you can look at my video that shows you that. But I want to have the snowman sticker. I'll also print out the color chart because that shows me the, the order of my threads and it helps me when I'm at my machine because I can line everything up. Now what happens if you don't own PE Design 11 and you want to be able to come up with an inexpensive way to view files? Well, I'll show you two. The first one I'm going to show you is Embrience because several people own Embrience software and you can buy it in modules. And you'll notice I don't own it, so it's asking for a serial number, but I do have a demo version. With that demo version, I can view my file, but I, you can see here it tells me it's running in what's called express mode. So it'll save licensed designs, but a lot of the features are not here until you go out and you pay for it. So we'll go to File, Open, and we'll locate the ostrich, and we'll open that design. And it's in 3D mode that I don't particularly care for, but this is the stitch file itself. Now I can go to File, Print, and let's see what happens with this option if I can print. I'll choose OK, and you can see that it is printing a file for me. So let's look at Print Preview. So we'll go to File, Print Preview, and you'll see this is the format for the Print Preview. Another option that you may want to consider, and I'm low on toner, so you get to see the messages for that, 
is to use Wilcom. Now I do want to show you that Wilcom is offers embroidery software for professionals and many digitizers use Wilcom. The true sizer you can get the professional version for $49. I have the free version and you can see that these are the options that you can use. So if you really wanted something that gives you some ideas of being able to print designs, display them in the hoop, and create different colorways and see it on your garments, you'll want to get the Pro version, which is $49. If you just want to resize, rotate designs, and save them or export them in a format, you can use the free version, which is the True Sizer desktop. And that's what I have. So let's look at it and look at the view of this. It's just beautiful. And one of the things that you'll see is to look at this in the print preview mode. You can see it here. I can print this out. It gives me all of my information on one sheet. Now let me close that and let me show you that in order to export this to a USB stick, Instead of choosing the save option, I use the export. This is going to allow me to save this either to a USB stick or somewhere else. And I have multiple formats, including many that you don't see in a lot of software. So in my case, I would choose the PES format. As always, thank you for your time today. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and consider joining us in Facebook in the Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group.